The border bill marks the first time in years that Republicans and Democrats worked together to come up with a plan to deal with the record number of asylum seekers. The $118 billion package adds $20 billion to strengthen the border by hiring new officers and Border Patrol agents. Also, when migrant apprehensions reach 5,000 a day, the border will automatically shut down to all migrants who do not have appointments to seek asylum. Everyone else will be turned away. The bill would also make it harder for migrants to claim asylum. It also contains $60 billion for Ukraine, $14 billion for Israel. But its future remains uncertain after Speaker Mike Johnson declared it dead on arrival in the House, claiming the bill is, quote, even worse than we expected, end quote. President Biden is calling it the toughest and fairest set of border reforms in decades. The likely GOP presidential nominee, former President Trump, has rejected any border bill, urging Republicans to vote against it. And a test vote in the Senate is expected this Wednesday. ABC 7 spoke to migrant advocates in El Paso today about the bipartisan border bill. Our reporter Ediberto Perez has the reaction. A migrant advocate says lawmakers are using people's lives and playing politics. Another one told me the U.S. needs to do more. I think, unfortunately, this bill is um, a broken promise by the Biden administration to make the immigration system better. Melissa Lopez is the executive director for Estrella del Paso, which provides legal representation to migrants. She says the U.S. immigration system will be improved when the U.S. focuses on the root causes of immigration. This bill won't solve it. Um, it's just going to exacerbate an already difficult situation. You have a proposal that plans to basically fly in the face of international law um, by closing the border to um, asylum seekers and to, to any other um, immigrant that might be trying to enter the United States. I also spoke with the Border Network for Human Rights to learn their thoughts on this Senate's proposal. This is not in any way an immigration reform or an asylum reform. This will not create any legal pathway for individuals to come. Instead, again, it doubles down on deportation and enforcement-only approaches. Some migrant advocates in El Paso see this bill as a political reaction. And so I think that it's a very, very um, harmful um, proposal, especially for those of us here in the borderlands. The Biden administration has been under pressure for the last few years due to a lack of a more strict immigration policy. The latest migrant surges that have hit our border made the El Paso sector the busiest and with the most migrant encounters in fiscal year 2023. In Ciudad Juarez, Heriberto Pérez, ABC7.